You guys back again. I'm here to make another Apple rant. I found more funny quotes. I decided, hey, I found way more funny quotes, more funny things that Apple's talking about. So I might as well decided to make another video. Let's go look at Apple.com. Let's see. The things you do most often on a computer, like browsing the web, checking email, and working with Microsoft Office files, are some of the things that Mac does best. Really? How? I really Apple, okay, I really want to understand how does it do it better. That's what I want to ask. For Safari, it, it's fat. I will admit it is probably one of the fastest internet browsers although I do say it's not the most reliable its download speeds aren't are are definitely not faster the only websites I've actually noticed it's gone faster at is apple.com and that's it and also Safari probably has the least features of any um, of any internet browser available even Internet Explorer has more features and I don't even like Internet Explorer um, checking email how, how, how does it do checking email better First of all, um, if you if you check email online, it's obviously not going to do any better because you're just checking it online. A Mac or PC, Linux, it doesn't matter. They're going to do it the same. Also, another thing is if you're talking about using things like the program Mail for Mac, you have to realize that, that that program has not had very much experience and not very much updates compared to other programs like Outlook Express and Mozilla Thunderbird. Been around longer. And now you're talking about Microsoft Office. Apple, you guys have to realize that Microsoft was the one that created Microsoft Office, so why would they make the Mac version better? In the, back in the early 80s when Apple and Microsoft were sort of like partners, they didn't have any word processing programs, so so then, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, Mike, so Microsoft ha let, them, you, let them have Microsoft Word for Mac, obviously, back then. And this is like probably in the early 80s, mid 80s, something like that. But then later on, probably in the late 80s, Apple, like what they're doing now, started going against Microsoft and started dissing them, like all that. So then they took away their, so they stopped making versions for Mac. So that's what happened. But then, in and then like in the late 90s, I believe, uh, Microsoft, uh, Apple is constantly, constantly begging for more, constantly begging for Microsoft to let them have Microsoft Word again because nobody liked Apple Works. I don't know, nobody I knew used Apple Works, and so they got that back. And nobody likes iWork either. So. Uh, it's obvious why Apple keeps bragging about Microsoft Office, but they, obviously they don't do it better. A Mac is great at day-to-day -day things. It comes loaded with all the essentials for email, calendar, contacts, browsing the internet, and much more. And see these applications are all made by Apple, they all work together seamlessly. Well, I don't get what Apple's bragging about. Are those really considered new apps on a Mac? Well, maybe on a Mac, but Windows has had those programs since early versions of Windows. Those programs that they have on Windows, they're also made by Microsoft too, so obviously they're going to work seamlessly together also. As you just stated, um, were advertised on Windows 95. Mac is loaded with, with high performance technologies. Intel multi core processors are standard, so applications fly. Powerful NVIDIA graphics bring the latest 3D games to life, and fast Wi Fi, iSight camera, Bluetooth, wireless technology, and so many other features are built in. Okay, I'm going to make a quick point right here. If you go to any store that sells computers, probably Best Buy or something like that, find the cheapest PC laptop you can find that's not a netbook. You'll notice it will have it will have pro it will have a dual core processor. Multi core processors have been around for years and they are definitely not new. Nvidia has been in PCs for many many years now and they've been in, been in PCs. Nvidia has made graphics cards for PCs way way longer than Mac too, and the same goes for ATI. And all computers have the same speed Wi-Fi, depending depending on which on which type of wireless router you have, whether it be a um, wireless G, N, B, whatever. They're all gonna they're all gonna have Wi-Fi, and they're all gonna have the same speed Wi-Fi, depending on what year you get your laptop from. And all lap, and pretty much all laptops and all netbooks have webcam, except for a couple business laptops that are the cheapest ones you can find. But even most of those even have webcams. Every PC nowadays has Bluetooth also, but Macs don't have infrared, which I still use with some of my older laptops to transfer files. And I use and I've used infrared with my Toshiba with a Windows 95 laptop and it worked fine. And that Mac does, doesn't have infrared, and I don't even think they ever have. iPhoto features facial recon features facial recognition that lets you organize your entire photo library by um by people in your pictures. So when you when you need to find a particular photo of a friend, the hard work is already done for you. It's incredibly advanced technology, but a Mac makes it simple. 
<laughs> incredibly advanced. It's so funny. That's simple technology. It's called organization. Windows can do the same with lots of free third-party programs or, or ones that are very cheap as well. Also, ever heard of Cyberlink UCAM? I don't even have to say anymore for that one. Apple makes the Mac, the software that comes in it, and the operating system that powers it. That that makes features like the wireless Magic Mouse possible. Snow Leopard enables multi-touch gestures, so you can scroll scroll with one finger or swipe with two. I hope you know that that absolute. Well, Apple, I want to say one thing. I hope you know that absolutely any company could have made a touch sensor mouse if they wanted to, which does sound definitely cool, and, and I've used it before, and it does seem like a cool thing, but you have to realize how annoying and uncomfortable the Magic Mouse is. I mean, if you don't believe me, go to the go to your local Apple store and try and go to the iMac and try using the Magic Mouse. Just having your my hand just sit on it, I've been clicking and scrolling things, and also they removed the expose on the Magic Mouse, which is something that was sort of useful with the Mighty Mouse, even though the Mighty Mouse sort of kind of sucked too. Also, it's the, probably the least ergonomic mouse I've ever used. Most uncomfortable mouse I've ever, ever had. In fact, I have this little tiny notebook mouse right here for portability. This thing's way more comfortable than that even. And this thing was only like five bucks. I just feel like using it right now because it's kind of cool. Well, anyways, Apple just creates things no matter how. Apple will create things not caring how they'll feel or how they'll work. It's all about looks, such as if you look at reviews for the Magic Mouse, basically Apple's mice never have good reviews, and lots of people I know that even use Mac do not use the Apple use the Apple mice. Like their keyboards, are, I will admit, are okay, but their computer mice, nobody likes them. Everyone I know who that uses a Mac does not use the Apple mice. They use probably Logitech or even Microsoft computer mice. All right. Well, this is the end of this video. I'm gonna find some more funny quotes later, and thank you for watching.